Glory to God. God is good, God is faithful, God is merciful, and that's why we are here. Good morning. May God and the heavens protect you. I have something from God to deliver to you. Today, I will pray with you and for you. But before I pray, the Lord commands me to tell you that the area of your life that has caused you so much pain, so many negative thoughts, and so much worry, the Lord commands me to tell you that He will make it straight for you. You are not listening to me here, watching this video in vain. We are in a prayer chain for the honor and glory of God. The Lord spoke to my heart that today I would pray for His sons and daughters, that He will straighten the areas of their lives that are causing them pain, anguish, problems, and desperation. Do you believe? Do you accept? The Bible says that there was a woman who had been bent over for 18 years. The Bible says that this woman had a sickness. When the Bible mentions sickness, IT refers to physical sickness. Every human being can get sick at some point in life, isn't that true? When you see the Bible talking about sickness, IT means spiritual problem. And spiritual problems can only be resolved through God's intervention. The Bible then says that this woman had been under the influence of a spirit of infirmity for 18 years, which made her walk bent over. She was able to walk, but she walked bent over. There are people watching this video whose lives are moving forward, but not in a normal way. That woman walked, but not normally. She walked bent over. Things were not normal for that woman's life. There are people whose lives are moving forward, but not normally, you know that. God will bring those people before this video, and you will know what I'm talking about, that this is true. The emotional life is moving forward, but not normally. The financial life is moving forward, but not normally. The problem you have been facing is not a physical problem, it's a spiritual problem. The Bible will say like this, there was a spirit of infirmity in that woman, in no way could she straighten herself. If the Bible says that she couldn't straighten herself, it's because she was a warrior woman. She tried to straighten herself, but she couldn't. There are people who have a problem and accept it. No, that's how it is, this is my karma, I was born like this, and I will die like this, and they accept it as normal. No. That woman wasn't like that, she was a warrior. She tried to straighten herself in every way, but she couldn't. God sees that you are a warrior, God sees that you are a warrior. That you look at a problem, and even though you walk bent in some area, you say, I don't want this problem. I don't accept this problem in my life, I don't accept this struggle. I am talking here to people who are warriors. God has seen your struggle, your battle. And God has seen that you want change, that you want this problem to fall to the ground. Many people who are watching me, or will still watch, are fighting with a spiritual problem, that's why you try to solve it in your own way and you can't. Because the Bible says that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil. There was a woman with an infirmity, she could walk, but she didn't walk normally, she walked bent. You try to walk, but it's not normal, there are things happening in your life that are not normal. But you will overcome. Repeat, say, I will overcome. Say it with me like this, my life will straighten out. My emotional life will straighten out, my financial life will straighten out, my health will straighten out, my dreams, my projects will straighten out. The Bible says that the Lord looks at her, the Lord Jesus looks at her, when he looks at her, the Bible says that he puts his hand on her head. The Bible says that when he puts his hand on her head, 
He knows exactly how long she has been in that situation. The Lord knows, of course he knows, how long you have been facing this struggle. How long you have been fighting this battle. The Lord knows that you have been facing this uprising of the enemy in your emotional life, coming back, separating, coming back, separating, that is rebuked. The Lord knows how long you have been facing this financial problem. That IT doesn't prosper, that IT doesn't grow, or it grows and then falls, loses. That is rebuked. The Lord has sent a message to you that it will straighten out today, He will rebuke everything that hinders you, everything that stops you, everything that is making you look down. That woman walked bent, and those who walk bent only look down. Today, God changes your story, do you believe in the power of prayer? God will bless you, because He knows your heart, and God sees that you are a person turned towards Him. He will not let you look down for any longer. No more time with this spiritual problem in your life. Write in the comments your first name and the phrase, God will straighten out my life. Let me translate the following text. Let's talk to God in this moment. Shall we pray? Our Lord God and our Father, dear and beloved Father. In this moment of prayer, under the spiritual gifts, I cry out to you, Lord. And I come to ask for the life of your daughter, your son. You know, Lord, that they have been going through a struggle, that they have been facing a battle, that they have been dealing with a problem, but it is not a physical problem, my God. But it is, my Father, a spiritual problem, and spiritual problems, only the spiritual world can put an end to. Only prayer can solve, only prayer can heal. Father, I pray now and ask you, just as you placed your hand on the head of that woman who was bent over. And your word says that immediately, she straightened up. Father, I want to ask you in this moment, Lord, bring the solution, straighten now, the emotional life of your daughter, your son. The financial life, the family life, straighten now what is crooked. Come in, my God, with providence, perform a miracle, straighten everything that is stuck, everything that has stopped. Because there are people trying to solve the spiritual problem with the strength of their arms. And we know that IT doesn't work that way. Only through the power of prayer, look, my father, at this daughter of yours, this son of yours, who is seeking you now, father, come with providence. Heal the sick, the afflicted, open doors, just as you rebuked that evil being and that woman straightened up, my father. Rebuke every evil that has caused this person to walk bent over in their emotional, financial life. That has prevented things from going right, I rebuke it now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I declare the blessing of the Lord Jesus upon your emotional life, your financial life, your family, your projects, your dreams. Protect and bless, my Father, all those who are following this prayer. Those people who are always honoring your work, Lord, may you bless them and make them prosper in all areas of their lives. Pray like this with me now. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the honor, and the glory. Today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Glory to God. May God and the heavens guard you.